Welcome to this statistics video. In this video we're finding the mean on a calculator. This video is relevant for people who are working with Casio FX82AU, Casio FX82AU Plus or Casio FX100AU Plus. All the instructions on here will be relevant for an, either of those calculators. Okay, step one, I like to turn the frequency table on and I like to leave it on. Uh, this is the best way, I think, of um, being able to enter lots of different types of data and it's relevant for both single data or group data. So um, if you turn the frequency table on to do that, we press shift, then mode, then we'll scroll down using the what they call the replay button which is the um, arrow button in the top middle of your calculator so we'll scroll down until we uh, we're able to then select stat on the screen and then um, we'll press on and what that does is that allows us to see a um, an entry screen that has a left hand column where we put the scores and uh, a right hand column where we put the frequencies if we have them but uh, I like to have this mode on each time this frequency table being able to be viewed each time and the calculator should remember that the next time you try to put some numbers into the stats mode um, once that frequency table is on it tends to stay on as the default so that's the first step for me then to get into this statistics mode itself to get into stats mode itself we will press mode, then stat, then one minus var. So that's how we get into the statistics mode, ready to uh, start entering our data. Now, there's two types of data I'll describe about the entry. So, um, entering individual data to just put uh, those numbers there in and to find the mean from those, what we do is we press five and then equals then the next number 4 and then equals so what the equals does is just enters it 7 then equals all the way down to our final number which is 2 and then equals so to enter individual numbers we just press the number and press equals to lock it in and uh, what that does on our screen because we've uh, turned this uh, frequency view on as our first step um, what that does is enters, enter each num enters each number, each score in the left hand column as a score and it as a default um, assigns uh, a frequency value of 1 to each of those scores. Now that's nothing to worry about um, so that's a good thing. So we keep entering that all the way down until we're done. Now when we are done we'll press all clear which is our normal uh, AC button there and that's a bit counterintuitive because it, uh, you might imagine that that uh, wastes your time and, and uh, clears off all your entries but it doesn't in the stats mode what it does is it uh, it locks in the data and then we'll see on the next uh, in the next slide how we um, access the statistical measures from that bunch of numbers so that's how we enter individual data if we we're going to enter that and trying to find the mean from there now let's uh, have a look at uh, if we had um, data that had frequencies along with it then uh, how we go about doing that so we might have a frequency distribution table there with scores 17 through to 20 and various frequencies there and how do we enter that I wonder okay we do pretty much the same as the first bit enter the individual data and uh, so by pressing 17 then equals then 18 then equals 19 equals 20 equals that'll uh, enter all that into the left hand column so that will uh, enter into the score column then what we'll do is we'll use our arrow uh, button or the replay button in the center middle of your calculator will scroll across once we've entered the 20 we'll arrow across and then up as many as we need to get up to the top of the frequency column to start entering the frequencies so we want to be scrolling across and up until our uh, cursor is directly to the right of our first score that we've entered into our table and then we'll be entering uh, the frequencies in a similar way. We'll press 2, then equals, 4, then equals, and that will be assigning frequencies to each of the scores that we've already uh, locked in. Now once we've done that, we'll again press all clear 
to lock in any data whether it's individual data or data with frequencies we must remember to press AC to lock that data in and don't be worried that the screen might go all clear all, all uh, blank etc it has locked in that data so whether you're entering individual or individual data or data with uh, frequency um, that's how we do it pretty similar isn't it now once we want to try and find the statistics from that including the mean this is how we go about it we press um, shift then one which has a stat uh, label just above it uh, then var is our choice next and then we'll press X with the bar up the top that's the mathematical symbol for mean X bar and uh, then we'll press equals it's important uh, you, once you've selected that X bar you might think well why doesn't it display the mean well you need to uh, sort of lock in that choice I suppose by pressing equals so don't forget that bit and then you'll have the mean displayed for you all right to recap on finding the mean from a calculator we'll turn the frequency table on by going shift mode then arrow down to stat and then on and that'll give us a nice uh, format for entering our data step two is to get the statistics mode to be turned on by pressing mode then stat then one minus var then we'll enter the data whether it's individual data by pressing each uh, item and then pressing equals to uh, lock that in if it's individual data remember we said the frequencies will have a default of one which is no problem at all once we're finished uh, entering our data we'll press AC to lock that data in if we're pressing data with frequencies uh, we sort of do it uh, two sets of entries one for the scores pressing equals after each then we'll arrow across and up using our uh, replay button uh, to get our cursor just to the right of the first score that we've entered and then we start entering the frequencies down the right hand column until we're done we press AC once again to lock that data in before we uh, extract the statistics values out from the next step the next step is to find mean at least uh, we press shift 1 to get into the stats readout section var then x bar and pressing equals to actually get that value uh, appearing for you now a lot of students uh, might use their stats mode um, like this as we've just described in this video and then worry that they can't get their calculator back to normal so I thought I'd just remind you how we do that to exit stats mode and get it back to that degrees mode that we usually work in we'll press mode comp now it's usually the first uh, the first option we have there so it's mode 1 or mode comp will get you back into uh, the normal statistics mode all right, I hope that helps describing how we find the mean on our calculator by entering all the numbers. Uh, go through those steps again uh, to get used to them if you like, and uh, all the best with that. Uh, PeterBlakeMath.com. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.